trespass no further. It is time to end this. Ah! I've not been entirely honest. I'd suspected my father was involved in all of this. Now this memory fragment proves his engagement in ways I hadn't anticipated. I'm sorry for keeping the truth from you. I was worried that had you known the truth, you would not have followed me into this nightmare. Let's start over. I need your help. My memory is cloudy, but I'll tell you all I can recall. When I was a child, my father and I, we were separated. I was told he was lost to that unearthly realm when the Atlas closed and the men who feared it took it apart. I spent my whole life trying to track down its pieces and repair his machine. A few years ago, I did just that. But now that we found him, something is not right. My father was a kind, temperate man, a good person, and a loving human being. Nothing like that thing you just saw. Please, take this. I found it while exploring. Hopefully it'll smooth things over. And if you continue to help me, I'll promise I'll find a way to make it all worth your while. This thing, it appears to have been feeding on my father's memories. Should it eat its fill, he will be merely a hollowed out husk, a wraith and nothing more. Unless, if we were to locate more of these memory fragments, then perhaps we could restore his mind to him and free him from this nightmare. This other creature complicates things, however. It is alien, yet to me it seems somehow familiar, like a bad dream once forgotten. All I remember is a sense of malevolent dread. It must be stopped, whatever it is. It seems to bleed decay into the surrounding areas. If that voracious mold that grows from its very shadow were to ever find its way into Oriath or Rayclast, we cannot let that happen. It's all a blur. My father was the chief archon for High Templar Venarius, a cruel and pernicious ruler. Venarius wished to hold the world ransom with his occult relics from the rubble of Rayclass. He believed they could venerate him even higher in his status. My father was forced to experiment on the map device for him, in hopes that he would uncover some kind of weapon. I don't need to tell you that my father found something worthy of attention. And instead of handing it over, he made sure its power could not be misused. A surety that cost him his freedom, and me, my childhood. It appears my father encountered this elder some time before his entrapment in its lair. Many of his most recent diaries make reference to the creature and his learnings around it. 
there wasn't much, just secondhand myths from the research journals of the Watchers of Decay. One concept, however, came up time and time again. This elder is not a lord unto itself. It serves a greater master, or a greater purpose. I'm unsure. It's confusing. Both my father and the Watchers refer to the Elder as coming from the nothing, while also being a carrier for the nothing. There are also mentions of an unholy desire to spoil and decay. Perhaps it all relates somehow to those fungal growths we've seen in the maps. I've been doing more research into the Elder and its battle with the Watchers of Decay. It's truly mortifying the things they've endured at the creature's hands. These Watchers, they were all parents. It seems the Elder prefers its prey young. These men and women fought tooth and nail to avenge their children, perhaps even succeeding for a time. But the Elder has been free for the better part of two decades. Its taste in food could explain the steady disappearance of children in the upper class of Oriath. What if those children are still here, in this place? Twisted, tormented creatures clinging to whatever fragments of happy memories they've left. We must alleviate their sufferings. This thing, it appears to have been feeding on my father's memories. Should it eat its fill, he will be merely a hollowed out husk, a wraith and nothing more. Unless, if we were to locate more of these memory fragments, then perhaps we could restore his mind to him and free him from this nightmare. This other creature complicates things, however. It is alien, yet to me it seems somehow familiar, like a bad dream once forgotten. All I remember is a sense of malevolent dread. It must be stopped, whatever it is. It seems to bleed decay into the surrounding areas. If that voracious mold that grows from its very shadow were to ever find its way into Oriath or Rayclast, we cannot let that happen. This thing...
fragment of my father's memory. Even then, the Atlas called to him. Please, take this for your help. Stay sane. Another day in damn. Curiosity is followed by ambition. Ambition is followed by madness. Need a map? My father's memories litter this place like the first leaves of autumn. They may very well be the last precious things I have from him. I've stored them for safekeeping in a book of memories back in the laboratory. That way, even if we fail in our quest, I shall always have a record of his last acts. Feel free to have a look through them, should you find yourself there. Stay inquisitive. While you're here, I've got a favor to ask. Still sane, exile.